Good afternoon. I'm very proud to welcome everyone to the Ninja Trader Ecosystem Trade Like a Pro webinar series. I'm your host, Wesley Sinks, and uh, today's speakers we have in the room Adam Halpern and Eric Sent of Indicator Warehouse. Uh, whether you've heard of Indicator Warehouse before or if you're new to their trading tools and educational resources, you're definitely here for an exciting uh, demonstration, including six ways to put the odds on your side when trading. Now, before we get too far into today's presentation, uh, it's definitely important to remember there are substantial risks involved in trading uh, commodity futures in Forex. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you, and this will depend on your specific circumstance and financial resources. It is possible to lose all funds deposited with your broker, and you could even incur losses beyond these amounts. Please inquire brokered support at NinjaTrader.com for more information or for a copy of the CFTC full risk disclosure. Also, please remember that these ecosystem webinars are not a solicitation or recommendation, but simply educational in nature. All right, now uh, definitely everyone get ready to learn. Uh, we have some uh, exciting topics to be covered today. And uh, so without further ado, please join me in giving a very warm welcome to Adam Halpern of Indicator Warehouse for this very special Trade Like a Pro event. Go ahead and take it away, Adam. Great. All right. Well, thank you all uh, for having us today or joining us, I should say. And um, on behalf of Eric, who you'll hear from in a little bit, uh, I want to thank you all for joining us today. And um, it should be interesting. Typically, we don't do these as many as we used to. Um, so it's nice to be back on air, if you will. Uh, I think you're going to learn some interesting stuff that uh, it definitely will not be death by PowerPoint. And I try and make it as interactive as possible. So I'll ask questions of the audience. You're more than welcome to participate. Eric and I are veterans in this business, so there's pretty much nothing <laughs> we haven't heard, and we're very transparent in the way we do business, so we're more than happy to address anything you ask. little housekeeping note, though. Um, I'll take questions while Eric is talking. If for some reason I miss your question, please don't be offended. It, you know, it's an accident, uh, but you're more than welcome to contact me or Eric after the presentation. Uh, we'll make sure you have our contact information and what, you know, we love to talk. And so, you know, feel free to reach out to us. All right. Okay. So as I said before, my name is Adam Halpern. I'm the owner of Indicator Warehouse and Eric is with us today. He is our lead trainer and trade room moderator. And so um, I know today's title uh, for the presentation is six ways to put the odds on your side. But initially, we're going to focus on just one what I think is the most important one, which is diversification. So today we're going to show you what happens when you apply tried and true traditional diversification principles like you have with your retirement account, but you apply it at the retail day trading level. And this is what we brought to the market, well, gosh, over three years ago, and it's really proven itself uh, to play very nicely at the discretionary trading level. Now, I know that doesn't sound very exciting, but once you see it in action, I think you'll understand how dramatically it stacks the odds on your side. All right, if you take nothing else from today's session other than these two things, it's still a win. And that is that diversification makes it easier to find high probability trading opportunities and it helps you avoid risky trades. Now what I mean by this is that diversification gives you a double whammy. Simply put, it enables you to win more often and lose less money while you're doing it. Now, I'm thinking right after I made that comment, your skepticism alerts just fired off and no surprise there. Uh, sadly, there's a lot of people are in our industry that, that pitch their secret methodology or their special indicators that are accurate 90% of the time or whatever. Well, I like skepticism. Uh, I think doing your due diligence is a good thing and it helps you avoid making bad decisions. In fact, I much prefer working with a well-informed customer who can appreciate the time and intelligence that's gone into our trading solutions than some starry-eyed newbie searching for the holy grail overnight success kind of guy. But hear me out. Indicator Warehouse has been around since 2009. We're one of the original partners in the Ninja Trader ecosystem, and we have a strong following of happy customers. The reason for this is we just don't try and pull a fast one on anyone or fill you with a bunch of nonsense. So instead, what we've done is figure out what day traders truly need to be better traders 
and we've packaged it into two professional grade software training and service solutions. And look, this didn't happen overnight. It took a lot of time and effort to figure out and refine what we have today. In 2012, we released version one of the diversified trading system, and we are now at version five. And in 2012, we released uh, the Raptor trading package, and that is another diversified system, but more aimed at the new trader, someone who needs a little less analysis and a little more risk prevention. Now today, we're going to focus on the power of diversified trading and show you how it will enable you to significantly up your game. Eric and I are going to show you how diversification makes it safer and easier to trade profitably. All right, let's get started. Now, just so you know, like everything at Indicator Warehouse, we even make online presentations easier. So don't worry about taking any notes or jotting down any website links. At the end of the presentation, we'll give you a link where you can get everything we talk about here, plus a free bonus report called An Easier Way to Trade. You know what? In fact, Wes, if you're here, you can put that link in the chat window now. It's fine with me. Okay, so let's dive in. In case you didn't read this at the opening, let's review. You are definitely in the right place if you can relate to any of the following statements. You know your trading methodology can improve, but you don't know where to start. In other words, you feel stuck. Or you've spent quite a lot of money on education and trading software, but your results haven't improved that much, meaning you're frustrated. Or you've been trading for years, but your results are erratic, and your overall improvements have been painfully slow. You feel fed up and trapped because you don't understand why you're not doing better. This is leaving you feeling stuck in a box. And finally, you want to be told how to build a successful trading methodology that will work for your particular temperament, skill level, and budget. In other words, you could use a little help. So if any of these statements apply to you, stick around because diversified trading can eliminate them. Now we all know day trading has many challenges and probably one of the biggest and certainly the most common challenge is trading becomes too complicated and too confusing to make good trading decisions. You've probably experienced this, right? Even after you analyze your chart, you still have doubts, still sitting there wondering, should you take the trade or not? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But the point is you don't feel the confidence that you should feel. And of course, that's exactly what you need for every trade, confidence. Now, now, here's a quote from Paul Tudor Jones, a hero of mine and Eric. Mr. Jones puts the issue of confidence and profits into a very interesting perspective. He writes, where you want to always be is in control, never wishing, always first and foremost protecting your ass or assets, that's why most people lose money as individual investors or traders because they're not focusing on the losing money. They need to focus on the money that they have at risk and how much capital is at risk in any single investment they have. If everyone spent 90% of their time on that and not 90% of the time on pie in the sky ideas of how much money they're going to make, then we would be incredibly successful inv uh, investors. Now, that's interesting, right? Paul Tudor Jones suggests that instead of always thinking about how much money you're going to make, you should instead focus on not losing your money. This is the secret to controlled growth of your trading account. Mr. Jones should know. I think he's worth something like over $3 billion, And on Black Monday, using these very principles, he netted over a million dollars. Now, what he says relates to one of the most common issues with day traders, and that is that we tend to get a streak of growth followed by a streak of losses, and we give it all back. Now, I agree with Mr. Jones that folks who give it all back to the market are usually the ones who are focused on how much money they can make for the day and forget to focus on what they're risking. Mr. Jones' comments put your focus on protecting what you have. That means minimizing risk and in every possible way putting the odds in your favor. 
there are specific practices and specific tools that enable you to do both of these things. And yes, they are built into our trading solutions. But at the heart of it, you'll find diversification. Just like in any traditional retirement account, in order to put the odds of profitable growth on your side, you must diversify your portfolio. This typically means a mix of high and low risk investments. In short, you never want to put all of your eggs in one basket. Okay, so at Indicator Warehouse, we built the entire company on a mission for making it easier and less risky for people to trade. And for us, that means quality software, meaningful training, and stellar customer service, all focused on stacking the odds in your favor. So now we're getting to the meat of the presentation. I'm going to focus on one of the six ways to put the odds on your side. And after that, Eric's going to show you all of this on his price charts. OK, so for now, I'm going to keep the focus on diversification. However, as I said earlier, we've also made a very informative video covering the other five components. And you can find that on the cheat sheet that Wesley put in the chat window and that we'll give it to you at the end of the presentation. OK, so what do I really mean when I say our diversified trading software makes it easier to find high probability trades? Our solutions are unique because they use three distinct and separate trading systems at the same time, and it looks for the best probability trades in the market. Now, both of our trading packages, the diversified trading system, or you'll hear us say DTS, or the Raptor trading system, RTS, use three distinct sets of indicators and algorithms. Other trading systems only use one algorithm to scan the market. Now, one algorithm makes no sense because as a day trader, you need to see the three primary states of the market, those being short-term scalps, mid-range swings, or longer-term trend trades. And just like in a retirement account, this is how you can have a mix of high and low risk trading opportunities. In other words, you can see three different market states at any point in time. If you only have one algorithm working for you, what is it telling you? Is it going to be a micro scalp? Is it going to be a long term trend move? You have no idea. But our software only fires a signal when the parameters for a particular type of market state are all present. In other words, if you're looking at the Eagle Trend Trader, You'll see it only fires once, twice, maybe three times a day when a strong trend move is setting up. On the other end of the scale, the Hawk Microscalper, scalper, the Hawk Microscalper will fire much more often, indicating that the parameters for short-term trades are present. And the Falcon Swing Trader sits right in the middle, looking for mid-term or range-bound moves. So when you know what kind of trade is setting up a trend, a swing, or scalp, you dramatically put the odds in your favor. This saves you from tons of analysis, simplifies your trading, and enables you to be more confident. So to put it in a nutshell, to only use one algorithm to look at everything that market has to offer is like putting all of your eggs in one basket. On the other hand, when you have three systems, you diversify your day trading and this makes it far easier to find high probability trades at a much lower risk to your trading account. OK, so enough about me talking. Eric's going to show you this diversified trading in action. He's going to show you today's signals. So you know there's no way we cherry pick trades to make our software look amazing. Well, actually, it is amazing. But you can trust, you can judge that for yourself. Uh, so without further ado, Here's Eric Semf, CTA and lead trader for Indicator Warehouse. Well, thanks, Adam. I hope everybody can hear me all right. I'm going to share my monitor with you. And we'll give that a second to initialize. And if I can just get a, a visual confirmation that perhaps that's coming through, we'll get started on this. 
Okay, great. Thanks very much. All right, so what you're looking at here is the Diversify trading system, and it's diversified because, as Adam said, we're looking at the market from three different points of view. We're not simply just taking one algorithm or one signal and, you know, using uh, like a five-minute chart for a short-term trade and a 15-minute chart for a swing trade and an hourly chart for a, uh, for a trend trade. Uh, these signals have been specifically programmed to pick up the current market environments. So here in the top left, we have the Hawk Micro Scalper. The top right is the Falcon Swing Trader. The bottom left is the Eagle Trend Trader. And the bottom right is the Raptor. That's the one that you heard Adam uh, talk about a little bit. The Raptor is essentially a hybrid of the other three. It incorporates elements of the hawk, the falcon, and the eagle into one trading chart. But having three different tools to analyze or take advantage of the market during its different conditions is really the ultimate way to trade. Um, I'm sure many of you have experienced the situation where your trades are doing really well one day or for two days your signal is working fantastic and then the next day you just incur losing trade after losing trade after losing trade, and you can't figure out why. What's going on? And that's usually the time you open up your Ninja Trader and you start finding some new indicator to throw on your chart to try to filter out the bad signals. Well, the problem is not so much in your signal. The problem is that the underlying market condition has changed, but your signal hasn't. It's like my grandfather used to say, if the only tool you have is a hammer then every problem tends to look like a nail. Well, with the DTS system, you actually have three different hammers. So when the market environment is scalping, hey, you've got a scalping tool. When it's swinging, you've got a swing trading tool. When it's trending, you've got a trend trading tool. All right, let's go over the signals here a little bit. I'll start with the Hawk Scalper. Now, at first, it may look a little bit overwhelming, but really, it's very simple to use. All the signals develop the same way. When the beginning uh, market conditions are being met for a signal, you're going to get this warning dot along with an audio alert. That alerts you that a signal is developing and your attention is drawn now to this chart. When all the signal parameters are met, you get a triangle and a hash mark. All right, so first you get the warning dot with the audio alert. And then when all the signal parameters are met, you get a triangle hash mark. Now it's decision time. Now, we do have uh, different high probability signals that we look for. We don't necessarily trade every single signal. This signal that I'm looking at right here, this is actually one of our high probability signals. This is what we call a first micro-macro cross signal. Very simple to identify. It occurs when the micro line crosses over the macro line and the signal and everything is in sync. So that means we have green bars, green trend lines, a green filter, and of course a green signal. Very high probability trade. Here's another high probability trade. This one is called a macro pullback signal. It's also very easy to identify because Everything stays in sync except this micro line. The micro line goes out of sync, but the macro line, the bar color, the filter, the signal, everything else stays in sync. That is a high probability signal for us. If you focus on just the high probability signals, you're going to see you have lots of opportunities during the day to make your profit. There's another first micro macro cross signal. Here's another first micro macro cross signal. Here's another first micro-macro cross signal. Most of these signals developed after the uh, FOMC minutes were released, but I'll show you even this morning when the market was relatively quiet that there were some good opportunities. There's another first micro-macro cross signal. Oh, and look, here's a macro pullback signal. Right there, you see the micro line went out of sync, but everything else stayed in sync. Let me dial back. I'll skip over some of these here. There's a few more signals printing there. See, here's another macro pullback. Very simple to identify. 
Uh, here's a first micro macro cross. It staggered a little bit before finally heading higher, but it did go higher. Uh, let me. Okay, here we are in the in the first hour or so of trading. I'm on the Pacific time zone, so this is 6:30 is the market open. About 15, 20 minutes after the market opened, it was floundering a little bit. We got a, a very decent first micro macro cross signal right there. No problem hitting our scalping target. Nice little progression out of that. We produced a macro pullback signal right here. It went sideways for a few minutes, but it also went up and had no trouble at all hitting our profit objective. So what we're looking for is we're looking for these high probability setups. And because the market environment happens to be a scalping environment, the DTS system alerts us, okay, we've got a potential scalp building and then when all the signal parameters are met, then we decide, okay, is this one of our high probability signals that we look for? If yes, well, then we take the trade. If no, well, then we wait for a different setup. Now, with the Hawk Scalper, there's actually five signals that we're going to concentrate on. I'm not going to go over all of them today, but the first micro-macro cross and the macro pullback are two of the highest probability ones. And you can see there's very nice follow-through from here. You can take them with a great deal of confidence. Um, I'll also just talk really quickly here about this trade manager tool because Adam touched on how important it is to control your risk. This tool right here, this trade manager, is a lifesaver because you're able to contain your risk exposure to a constant dollar amount. So that means that regardless of how I set up this trade, Let's say I choose to set the stop parameters a little bit tight. You see my, uh, I've got about $300 at risk. Or if I choose to set the trade, maybe I'm going to put it above that swing. Look, the risk amount never really changes. It's still about $300. What if I want to run a really loose stop way up there? Oh, look at that. The risk amount is still $300. But what has changed is the quantity the number of trades or the number of positions I have in play. So this does two very important things for you. First off, you never end up risking more money than you can afford to lose. Very, very important. And secondly, you also maximize your earning potential. So if you're just a onesie twosie trader, Sure, you may hit here for a win and you may make $100, but if you correctly capitalize your position, hey, I'm making $200. So not only do you want to limit your losses to an amount you can afford, but you want to maximize your earnings. Because, well, let's face it, there's cheaper hobbies <laughs> than trading, right? It, we're, we're doing this to turn a profit. All right, so there's the Hawk Scalper. Let's take a look here now at the Falcon Swing Trader. The Falcon Falcon Swing Trader, uh, again, it's been programmed specifically to pick up swing trades in us um, so we're anticipating the market to move a little bit further we pay very close attention to this trend line when we're dealing with the falcon we want the trend line gives us our directional bias so we're always going to look to take trades which are in sync with the trend line one of the high probability signals that we get with the falcon is the trend change signal so the trend line changes from red to green and it's essentially the first signal where everything is in sync. So we've got green bars, we've got a green trend line, a green filter, and a, a green signal. Now the warning dot here eventually got absorbed by the triangle and the hash mark, but believe me, there's normally a warning dot that produces right here. So there's a trend change signal. You can see a nice little swing to the upside. I do believe that was enough to find our high probability profit target. Oh yes, no problem hitting our profit target on that one. Here's another trend change signal. See the trend line changes from red to green. Now we're on the alert for a possible signal and there's the signal where everything is in sync. And there too we had a nice little swing to the upside. Uh, here's a trend change signal that developed a little bit late but it Two had enough follow through to hit our profit objective or at the very least our break even trigger. 
Uh, here is a very nice little trend change signal. This one's almost textbook. Uh, the trend line changes color. We get this nice little up, down, up pattern. What that shows us is the buyers are taking control, right? They take control, they change the trend line color. The sellers try to fight the market back, and then the market, the buyers come back, and all the parameters are met for a signal, and we produce our trade. And that one had just exceptional follow through. So that's what we call a trend change signal on the Falcon. The Falcon also has a, another very high probability signal is this one right here. This is called a late filter entry signal. And it's called a late filter entry because the filter goes out of sync and comes back into sync. But the trend line never changes color. We produce a signal. This signal is almost as good as money in the bank. It's like that first micro macro cross signal that you just saw on the Hawk. If I get this signal, I take it almost without exception because I know it has an extremely high degree of probability of hitting my profit objective. And so there's just a, a couple of trades. Here is another late filter entry signal on the Falcon. See, the trend line never changed color. Filter goes out of sync, comes back into sync. We produce a signal. Boom, away she goes. Here's a nice little trend change signal. You know, the other thing, for those of you who uh, watch reports and such, normally on Wednesdays in the trading room, we're watching the crude inventory report. It amazes me how often the Falcon will actually pick the market direction before the report is released. Here, this signal printed about two minutes before the report released. So you had a two minute head start that the market was actually gonna head higher. And just look at that follow through. Beautiful day to trade, a little, little chunky this morning, but uh, still it worked out really well for us in the afternoon. Okay, here is the Eagle Trend Trader now. And the Eagle Trend Trader, of course, has been uh, programmed to uh, pick up trend signals. With the Eagle, we pay particular attention to this band that you see through here. No, it's not an Ichimoku cloud. Everybody asks, but no, it's not. It's unique to the Eagle. It just happens to look like an Ichimoku cloud, but it's not one. Uh, the Eagle, we have the soft edge and the hard edge. So this determines our direction. And a very strong signal with the eagle is when the market drifts into the hard edge. We always anticipate a reaction when it hits the hard edge. Now, in this case, we have a very high probability signal with the eagle trend trader. This is called the red bar buy. And our band is bullish. The market drifts into the hard edge, so much so that the bar's color changes over. So the, it looks like the sellers are starting to take control here. And all of a sudden, the buyers wake up and they start to push the market higher, so much so that we develop a buy signal. So we get the warning dot a minute or so later. All the trade parameters were met, and we get a triangle and a hash mark. So here's our signal. And you can see we had some fairly decent follow through on that, even on a day like today where the market was relatively choppy. Um, here was a, a trend change signal on the Eagle. This is also a higher probability signal that occurs when our band goes from bearish to bullish or vice versa. And it's essentially the first signal that prints, usually also bouncing off of the hard edge. So with the eagle, that hard edge, a very important uh, feature. Uh, technically, this signal that you see right here, this is what we refer to as a rule of three signal. It's our counter trend signal. It gives us an early indication that the market may be changing direction. And it's when you start printing uh, signals against the band. So we have a bullish band, and we're printing a sell signal, and a sell signal, and a sell signal. Normally, after that third signal, we anticipate that the market is going to start moving in that new direction. And you can see that's exactly what happened here. So 
bullish band, the market is starting to fail. We're starting to get some bearish activity. And after that third signal, well, that's when the bears finally overwhelmed the bulls. Uh, this was yesterday's trading, I believe. And again, it was a little bit labored, but uh, hey, it was a day before the FOMC meeting. Nobody really wanted to commit, but even so, we had a nice little red bar buy signal right there and a fairly decent follow-through, albeit it was a little bit on the choppy side. And uh, if we're not pressed for too much time, I'll just give you a really quick overview of the Raptor. This is the Raptor, and uh, as I mentioned, it's uh, a hybrid of the other three trading birds all into one. So it incorporates elements of the Eagle. You can see the Eagle band in here. Uh, the whole Eagle Trend Trader is actually programmed into the filter here at the bottom. Uh, we also incorporate elements of the Hawk and the Falcon into the bars and the signal generation. So it incorporates elements of all three. It doesn't make it better or worse. It's different. You know, like a hybrid car is different. A Prius is different than a Corvette or a, or a Ford pickup, right? It's uh, still a vehicle, still get you from A to B, but maybe not as fast as a Corvette or you won't be able to haul as much stuff as you can with a pickup truck. So here, uh, a basic signal on the Raptor is the hard edge bounce. So the market comes into the hard edge, we're producing a signal and away we go. Uh, here's another hard edge bounce, comes down, recovers, produces a signal, away we go. Here's another hard edge bounce, comes in, hits the hard edge, uh, produces a signal and away we go. So three different tools to pick up on three different market conditions. Very important thing to remember. Next time your signal doesn't work out, it's not necessarily your signal, it's the market condition that has changed and you just weren't aware that that had happened. All right, Adam, I've gone over it. I'll send it back to you now. Okay, folks, let me see if I can uh, do a little quick, um, see if this works. Give me a second. All right. Are you all seeing the, where it says special offer or not? I'm going to make sure I'm doing this right. No. All right. I think we're back on the start screen, Adam. Oh, there we go. Special offer. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. Try this again. There we go. Yes? Yes. Now, yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, before I forget... Let me get that link uh, that we talked about, just so you can. Ah. <laughs> Excellent, thank you, Wes. Um, make sure that, that that works for y'all, and uh, and don't let me hang up. I know um, we promised uh, a discount code, and um, I will definitely give that to you before we're done. So we've had a bunch of questions come in. Uh, feel free to keep asking, and um, you know I'll address them. One at a time, we have Eric here to show anything if need be. And, um, and so let me dive in a little bit. So, um, so here's a question. Um, how many people on the presentation today are actually uh, Indicator Warehouse uh, customers or, or DTS or RTS users? Give me, a, give me a why, please. OK. Uh, a few. Okay, it's good to know. I just because I always want to know how 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 far back if we if you you know we will to answer this. Let me let me tell you a little bit about how all this came about because there's there's it's kind of like an Apple iPhone. There's it it looks slick on the surface and there's a lot going on behind the scenes and that's by design. And so when we started five years ago, Indicator Warehouse set out to be basically the Amazon.com of uh, of day trading indicators, particularly for the ninja trader space, and and we did just that, and we, and it was a uh, it was you know 
It was very well received in the marketplace. Obviously, since then, uh, there's been hundreds of copycats. I guess I'll take that as a, as a compliment. But over time, uh, we started getting feedback from our customers of what they wanted beyond just being able to put together their own systems and tinker with indicators and more of really what they wanted from a day trading system. And since uh, we have a unique model, we represent independent programmers who have their intellectual property that they want to bring to the market. And, and we put it all in this one resource called Indicator Warehouse. And so I had really brilliant NinjaScript programmers working with me. And I basically put together a team because my background is uh, software um, product marketing and product management. And I brought them what I call this requirement stock, which is this long list of things that, that all of our customers were telling us they wanted. And said, all right, you know, folks, you're brilliant. Can we build this? And the answer was yes. And that is what the diversified trading system is, the one that came out in 2012. And so there's a lot going on there. And, you know, I'm sorry we have to squeeze this all into, you know, 50 minutes. But part of it's the diversification. So each of those systems that are running at the same time, they're each different. And so it's not like it's the same signal that's on a higher and lower time frame like you see in, you know, what I would call inferior systems. Um, and I liken it to, to flying uh, an airplane, right? E each of those gauges in an airplane tells you a little something different, but together they enable you to fly. And that's the way you need to think about these three systems running at the same time. And then you add to that the position sizing or the money management tool called Trade Manager, and you really have uh, a complete software solution. And so when people are asking, well, what about signals that don't follow through or show us some bad signals? That's less relevant because since you, if it well, if you're using something like Trade Manager, even when there's a bad signal, your risk is controlled and therefore you don't blow up your account. And that is why money management and position sizing is so critical as part of a total solution. In fact, if you're trading without money management, um, it's just, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you're going to blow up your account. And so, um, let me see what else they ask. Ah, and so the difference between, someone asked the difference between the Raptor and DTS. So DTS uh, is really designed for people who have been uh, trying to figure out this trading thing from, let's say, two to five years. Uh, you know, they've, they've, unfortunately or fortunately, whatever it may be, spent a lot of money on software and educators, probably could be day trading teachers themselves, um, and just need something to click. And so our tools have been very helpful for these types of individuals. And I would call them more what I would call intermediate day traders, right? And so it's our belief that there's no software in the world that does it for you. That's just silly. That's like thinking a word processor is going to write the great American novel for you. But if you have the aptitude to be a trader, well, then our software makes it easier, faster, better to get it done. And that's really the only expectation one should have from any software. And so if you're thinking that there is software on the market, ours or anybody's, who you turn it on and it just prints money for you, um, that is sadly not true. And let's face it, if it was, we wouldn't be talking right now. I'd, I'd be on my yacht next to the island I just built. Um, but it, that's not the case. So. Our job has always been to, bu to build quality software products that help people trade easier, better, safer. Now, along the way, it became very clear that building software wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to you know, give people tools to build the cabinet. They wanted Bob Vila to come with it and to teach them how to use those tools. And I think that's fair, right? Uh, considering the investment that's involved for our software, I think you're entitled to uh, have training to teach you how to use it. And that's where Eric comes in. Eric was one of my original mentors. I brought him on board and he has, he, he's there every day to help people maximize their investment in our software and learn how to use these tools because these are not simple, you know, moving average cross tools. Um, they're simple to use, but it's still like any high-end tool. It takes time to get used to them. You don't just pick up a power saw and, you know, start using it, you'll hurt yourself. And so, um, so that's why if you, if you look at the special offer, uh, let's go through it real quick, but there's a few things I really want to call out because it's important. Um, the clean charts we just already talked about, the automated trailing stops or money management, 
critical. We talked about that. The three algorithms we talked about, very clean trade alerts. Our trade alerts are designed not to just throw a, uh, uh, an arrow on the chart and have you chasing the market. It warns you in advance when something is setting up so that you can become prepared to get into a, a trade. Includes um, audible alerts, email, visual. That's just kind of a, you know, that, that goes with the flow, if you will. Uh, it was also designed, this is one of the key designs that we had to have was, uh, had to be designed to trade any market that NinjaTrader worked in. Therefore, it trades Forex, it trades futures, and it trades equities, uh, just equally across the board. Now, here's the one that's important, free training and trade room forever. This is really one of the things that sets us apart. Uh, I believe that people who run fee-based trade rooms have a conflict of interest, and I simply did not want to be put in that position. And so if I'm going to feed my family based on people coming back to the trade room every day, well, then I'm going to be incented to do things that really I shouldn't be doing. Because in my opinion, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, we all got into this to be independent traders, to have an independent life. So why would you want to suck off our teat and rely on us for the rest of your life? And so unlike other places, our trade room access is free forever. Uh, there is no ongoing fee after you've made an investment in one of our solutions. Now, how that typically plays out is individuals tend to stay in about three to five, I'm sorry, uh, one to three months. Now, why is that? Because, and, and I've, I was always, initially this amazed me, so I, you know, I'm a good business owner. I reach out and say, why is this happening? And the, and the consensus was because we get it. We don't have to stay in the room anymore. We know how to use the tools, thank you, and you know, they're off on their way, as, as one would expect. But you're welcome to stay. I mean, there's always that camaraderie of being in the room, and Eric is an incredibly gifted teacher. But that, that really is important to understand that the training and the live trade room is free forever. There's also a vast uh, and well-organized library of self-directed video training. And uh, because some individuals either can't be there when the particular market's open and or are the kind of people who likes to train on their own. And so we wanted to make sure that we could offer services, software, and training that appealed to a broad range of traders. In addition to that, any update to any software that you own is free for life. And yes, that includes NinjaTrader 8. So again, the idea was if you're going to make an investment in our software, you need to get value from it ongoing. And so there's no, you know, if, if we upgrade something, it's free. Now, I will tell you, we rarely upgrade things because quite frankly, it's stable. But, you know, uh, by version 5, all the bugs have been worked out. But you never know. And uh, sometimes we do enhancements and, and they're, part, they're, they're yours. Um, what else? Ah, um, package bonuses. So if you go to our site, you'll see we have two primary systems. We talked about DTS. Um, I'll give you a quick overview of RTS just so you, you understand what that is or the, the Raptor trading system. And that came about really more for what I would call the casual or new trader because uh, DTS is, is it's kind of like the individual who likes to have a, a stereo system in which they have each component so they get the maximum sound possible. They want to be able to tweak everything to get the best possible. That's what DTS gives you. You're going to get the absolute best trades possible, uh, and you will be offered some that take more intelligence and analysis. Whereas Raptor is middle of the road. We took the math from DTS, and we put it all into one screen so it's easier for a newbie to deal with. And it delivers what I would call really good trades, not the best and not the most dangerous. And that way, a newbie doesn't blow up their account. And so it's very often for a newbie, they'll start with Raptor. And then over time, as they get comfortable with the tools and, and how we do things, they'll then move over to DTS and continue to use Raptor more as a confirmation tool, which is how you'll typically see Eric trading in the trade room. Um, what else? Hold on here. All right, we covered training, we covered the videos, we covered support. Um, what else? Let me just look here real quick. Here, I was I was pacing while I was talking. So, uh, 
Uh, what about the speedometer that looks like a gauge? I'll talk about that in a second. Support is critical. Couldn't agree with you more. I have an enterprise software background. Um, it's really what, one of the things we're known for in the industry. Uh, very fast and, and friendly support, thorough. Because um, in my opinion, just so you know, I'll get my soapbox real quick, good software, that's the price of admission to be in the business. It's quality people on the team and solid support that sets you apart. And that's really why we've been around and, and we're one of the top partners for as long as we have been. All right. I agree we're not all tech geeks. That's why we designed this more like an iPhone. You don't need to be a tech geek. You just need to use it. What if I already Ninja Trader? Is there different pricing? Uh, well, you'll need Ninja Trader no matter what. These are third-party add-ons or enhancements to the Ninja Trader platform. So the, the pricing is what it is. Um, if I buy reactors include, ah, uh, Clay asks if, uh, if you, if you buy Raptor or DTS, does it include a license of Ninja Trader? And the answer is no. <clears throat> in fact, initially, uh, Ninja Trader has this very interesting model in which you can use their, um, their software for free for simulated trading. I don't even, I think it's forever. Um, and so our stuff will work on the simulated version of Ninja Trader. And then when you're finally ready to go live, then uh, it's just as simple as updating your license through Ninja Trader. And there's a fee associated with that through them. And, uh, and you're ready to go. Okay. Um, anything else you all want to cover from a uh, description? Oh, I know. The, uh, thank you. The, the gauge in the corner. Okay, so think of DTS or RTS as cars when you go to, a, you know, to a, buy a car. You can drive either one of those off the lot, and they will absolutely do everything you need. But sometimes people like to get add-ons or aftermarket additions to their cars to make it fancier. Maybe there's a particular thing they want. Who knows? And so we have a section of our site called System Add-ons, and those were specifically designed to enhance or add to the core systems if you so want. In other words, that gauge in the corner, that is an order flow uh, tool, right? So you, order flow analytics, whatever you want to call it, reading the tape. That's a tool for people who are into that. We have one. If you're into support and resistance, we have an enhancement for that. Um, if you are into range trading, we have an enhancement for that. We have a, there's, there's all these add-ons that if you want to have them, they're there for you, but they are by no means required. So hopefully that answered it. Um, OK, so you have the link to get the additional information. The code, let me put the code in here for you real quick. Hold on. Yeah. Nice and original, right? Ninja 20. And so what that will allow you to do is um, take 20% off anything uh, that we just talked about. So either the DTS system or the RTS system, um, the system add-ons. So it's, it's available for any of that. Uh, in addition to that, I realize this is a lot of information. Let me just see what time it is. Uh, technically, we're not over, but I realize we squeezed a lot in. So one, if you want to see anything else on the chart, while we still have some time and Eric's available, we can do that. And then two, I'm available after this presentation. Um, happy to take any you know questions you have. Let me put my um, email address. You can email me there, and uh, you know if we need to set up an appointment to actually have a conversation, more than happy to do that. I'm all about good old-fashioned human conversation. So um, so that's that. All right. Let's see. Anything else? Any other questions? Please show some signals getting out of a long trade. Um, Eric, it's your call. And if you, uh, you know, on something for ES, I don't really understand. There's a question that says, can you please show signals uh, for getting out of a long trade? I don't really know what that means. Um, sure. Eric's going to show the ES, so we can handle that. When does it work in Ninja 8? Uh, so... <laughs> First of all, Ninja 8 has to be a stable release. No offense to Ninja, but it is officially still in its beta form. And the last thing we're going to do as a third-party vendor is go through a lot of cycles 
to design software until we have a stable platform that is basically what they call gold cold locked code officially from ninja trader saying okay this is it now you guys can can knock it out the programmers are well aware we work very tightly with ninja trader so they're very well well aware of what's going on this is not our first rodeo we were around for ninja trader 65 and 7 and the jump to 73 and so um I'm, I'm very well aware of how to do this correctly and um and let's face it you know it's it's a matter of doing it smartly this is software we're talking about and it's money we're talking about so um, I don't believe in taking risks in either. Okay. My turn? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, uh, Zach was asking, can you uh, show some signals for getting out of a long trade? Well, let's pretend for a moment that we're taking this first micro-macro crossover signal. That's what it looks like. And we're going to set up our trade. Maybe we're going to risk it down here initially. Now, the nice thing about the DTS system is that it tends to capitalize immediately on market momentum. That's one of the uh, things that the signals look for, is they look for the market picking up momentum before the signal actually prints. So very often you'll get the signal and it'll go straight to your profit objective, so you don't even really need to worry about getting out of a long trade. But let's pretend for a moment that we didn't take profit on target, and instead we're still long on this trade. How do we know when it's time to get out? Well, part of the trade manager is this feature right here where you have 16 different stop strategies. Each one is fully customizable. So let's say I'm going to uh, activate the ATR strategy and these blue dots that you see here. This is how the trade manager would automatically roll my stops as the trade progressed. So right now, I would, you know, if I chose to take part of my position on uh, as profit on my first target, leave the rest in as a runner, this is how Trade Manager would manage my trade with the ATR strategy, in which case I would have got stopped out right there. Now, I can make the strategy more conservative if I choose. I can back those stops off a little bit. I can make it tighter. Or I can even go with a more aggressive strategy, maybe something like parabolics. Like I said, we've got 16 different strategies to choose from here. So essentially, once you set up your trade and you activate your stops, it can be a hands-free trade. You don't have to even look at this chart anymore. You can go find other trading opportunities. That's a great thing about the DTS system is it frees you up. Once you're in a trade, you activate your trade, you enable your stops, you can go look at crude oil or gold or the e-mini or whatever and find another opportunity to trade. You don't have to be glued to the chart, you know, uh, wondering how am I going to manage this trade? Is the market going to start moving against me or whatnot? No, you can leave it up to the, the software. And like I say, there's 16 strategies here. Uh, you can customize them all to do exactly what it is you want them to do. All right, so that's how you can... Uh, effectively get out of a long trade or a short trade for that matter. Now, um, somebody was asking about the E-mini. I've got the E-mini loaded here on my other monitor. Here's the E-mini on the Hawk. And you're going to see the, uh, we had quite a few yellow bars here on the E-mini, but the signals uh, generate exactly the same way. This is what we call a red bar buy signal on the, uh, the Hawk. It developed late in the session. Let's get back here a little bit when the trading was a little bit more active. There's the first micro macro cross signal right there. No problem finding your profit target. Here's a macro pullback signal. I'm sure you guys can already identify these already. Uh, there's a macro pullback signal, went up, hit its profit objective. Uh, here's a first micro macro cross to the downside. Here's a macro pullback to the downside. Each of those would have hit their scalp targets. Uh, here's a a uh, macro pullback signal. Here's a first micro macro cross. So you see, it really doesn't matter what instrument it is you're following. The signal generation is still the same. I'll bring over the Falcon here real quick. Was one of the design requirements that I gave the team is this system, if you will, or systems, needs to be able to trade any market anytime. And, uh, and it does. So, you know, when I get these, yeah. well, will it trade crude or will it trade, you know, the yes. The answer is yes. 
Um, yeah. We haven't found anything, actually, that, you know, it doesn't trade. I haven't tried it on butter. We should try <laughs> butter. <laughs> here's, a, uh, here's a trend change signal on the Falcon for the E-mini S&P right here. Trend line changes color. So it goes from red to green. There's our first signal where everything is in sync. Nice little follow through there. Uh, these horizontal lines that you see here, this is one of the system add-ons that Adam was mentioning. This is the ultimate support and resistance suite. It's actually an assortment of 21 support and resistance lines which forecast where the market is likely to find support and resistance for the current trading day. Here's a trend change signal to the downside for the E-mini S&P, right? Trend line changes color. First signal where everything is in sync, red line, red bars, red signal, red filter, down she goes. And so uh, just real quick, I'll bring over the oh, eagle sorry, here. Real quick. Just ask for the link to um, the cheat sheet that has a, a reference to all the resources we talked about and the video covering the other six, uh, the five components of uh, what we talked about today. So I'm going to put that in there. Hopefully that'll work. Okay. So here's the Eagle now on the E-mini. And you can see that uh, from where the market opened, there really wasn't any signal. See, the market was not trending. So there was no signal to be had uh, on the Eagle Trend Trader. But we were getting signals on the Hawk and the Falcon because there, it, it was a scalping environment. It was a swing trading environment. But it was not a trending environment. In fact, the first signal we got... And you would have, it would have been tough to get onto this one because it looks like this one developed just as the FOMC minutes were being released. So it looks like the market moved rather quickly here. But there's your trend change signal. So your band changes direction. You had a retest of the lows, a failure. And there's your buy signal. I suppose you could also treat it as a rule of three. But honestly, that would have been a tough one to get a, a handle on because it would have uh, developed rather quickly. But it doesn't matter because we already had opportunities with the Falcon and uh, the Hawk Scalper. So it's important that you have those different tools to take advantage of the market for the different market conditions. Folks, there's been some uh, questions about price and, and that kind of stuff. I, I tend to shy away from those for these presentations. These are supposed to be primarily educational. Uh, I guess you call it sales education, right? Uh, but in the uh, in the link in the PDF file, if you, there's a link in there that does uh, send you to a page that shows the difference between RTS and DTS, the price of both, uh, and that should address any of those questions. And again, if you need any clarifications, feel free to to email me, and um, we can either address it through email or I'm, I'm happy to talk with you. Uh, Adam, if I can just jump in here real quick, I see there's a question about. Um, um, SG asks, this may sound premature, it seems, it appears that the NQ may produce better signals. Um, and no, not necessarily. The NQ is my pet market. It's, it's one of my favorites. Um, everybody gravitates toward the E-mini S&P because, hey, it's the, it's the sexy market, right? It's the one everybody talks about. It's the standard. But the E-mini trades at $12.50 a tick. The NASDAQ trades at only $5 a tick. Um, what that means is I have a lot more flexibility trading the NASDAQ. So there's going to be times I can take at least two or sometimes even three contracts for every single e-mini contract I can trade, depending how the trade is actually set up. So that gives me a lot more flexibility on the trade management side. And what a lot of people don't realize about the e-mini versus things like the mini Dow and the NASDAQ is if the e-mini moves $200, the NASDAQ also moves $200. It's not the e-mini moves eight ticks, the NASDAQ moves eight ticks. No, no, no. If the e-mini moves $200, the NASDAQ will also move $200. You know, more or less. Um, sometimes it'll move 150. Sometimes it'll move 250. But I get a lot more bang for my buck uh, trading a market like the NASDAQ uh, than the E-mini. Uh, so it's my pet market, uh, and that's why it happens to be up here. But I can show you crude oil. I can show you gold or whatever market. The um, pound U.S. pair, the euro the U.S. pair, uh, the euro-yen pair, really, whatever is of interest to you, 
you will find the same types of signals regardless of the market you're trading. You're going to find your macro pullback signals. You're going to find your first micro macro cross signals. And really, once you know what you're looking for, the rest is pretty straightforward. The system really does the, the hard work for you. It does all the heavy lifting. And that's why we built it the way we did. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a few questions. Um, by the way, th there's a comment that I heard recently with, from a customer that I liked is that using DTS, I don't have to chase a trade. And so let's say there is a signal on the Hawk and you miss it. Okay, that's fine. You still have two other systems that are potentially going to fire in, in, within that same time frame, right? Because as, as Eric said, they're correlated. And so there's no longer this like, oh my God, that was the pristine uh, move of the day. If I don't get it, I'm done. No, that's the beauty of this is that you can take the time to find the trades that jump out and kiss you. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to group, there's a group of questions that have come in, they kind of, uh, they, they kind of fall under the same umbrella. There's, there's this, um, what I call the proof question, um, you know, accuracy, um, um, I'm trying to think what else. And, and, and basically, they, here's the deal, folks. If we're talking about a black box automated system that has equity curve reports, there's an answer for that type of a system. And then there's discretionary trading tools like we sell, and there's a different answer. And so this is not a black box system in that you turn it on and it's supposed to do what it's supposed to do and, you know, good luck. Um, and so it makes this proof question a lot more difficult. And I come up against this all the time. We've addressed it in many ways in the past, and I'll tell you how we have finally found a way to, to meet the needs of that question, because I understand what's behind that question, right? I mean, it's a big investment, and, you know, how do I know it's going to work? Right? And, and again, I do fall back to the word processor uh, analogy, which is, how do you know a word processor is going to work? Well, it, it does the spell check, right? It does the formatting for you. If you're a writer, it'll help you write better, but it doesn't write the book. And so these are hammers, chisels, and saws. If you're taught how to use them and you have an aptitude for being a carpenter, you will make great things. But it, the, the hammer doesn't make the cabinet. What we guarantee is that, that when that hammer hits that nail, the head's not going to break off. In other words, these are quality tools to do what they're designed to do. And so in the past, we have, um, I always come up against these, you know, these results questions, which I just think are, it, it's just challenging because the only results they are are either going to be Eric's results, my results, other people's results. That doesn't mean that what's going to way it's going to be for you. So in the past, we've run these things called uh, profit runs. And basically, Eric shuts down the training room for a month or so. And all he does is trade to grow his account. And I have those results. If you want to see them, I think they're in that cheat sheet. They're over at indicatorwarehouse.net. You can see it. And, and I was never comfortable with that approach because, well, one, when Eric's trading, you know, with that intent to, to make money, it's boring. It's quiet. He's focused as any trader should be, right? He's not teaching. He's not doing an outwardly event in which he's trying to share information and teach others. He's making money. That's his objective. And so, <laughs> you know, you can watch the videos we record at every session. So if you want to watch two to three hours of trading every day, you know, to see that our results are true and, and prove them, it's, it's all there. Uh, but I just didn't find that, that that met the need. And so the other request that we get a lot is trials. Well, nobody's going to pick up a set of, of high-end tools and use them in seven days or even 30 days and be able to say that they are well versed in them. It takes time. And so the best way we have found to address this is the private trade room that we have during the week, we open up to the general public every Wednesday. And so that way, instead of asking Eric to see charts now and in hindsight and in market replay and all that, you could just come in and see the live action every Wednesday. You know, it's the exact same room that the uh, system owners get to see. In addition to that, on our YouTube channel, every single day, that we do have the private session, we post that out to our YouTube channel for free. And so you can see every single day the way these systems are performing. The only difference is as a non-system owner, 
you don't get to ask questions or benefit from Eric's guidance. But other than that, you can see it to your heart's content. And that seems to have been the best way to address the trial question and the proof question. So that's that. Um, let's see here. So I just addressed uh, automated versus uh, discretionary or manual. What's my other question here? Uh, Martin asked the, the YouTube channel name. It is in the download um, in the download sheet. You know, honestly, I don't remember the channel name. So if uh, if you have trouble getting to it from the sheet, let me know. Ah, big one. I'm sorry, people have already dropped off. Um, installation. God, I can't believe I missed this one. So yeah, I recognize that a lot of people that get into trading, they're not geeks. I mean, the, you turn on your computer to use it, kind of like a car, right? I, I don't know how my engine works, and I don't care. I just wanted to do what I wanted to do. So um, installation for these high-end systems are free because our, our feeling is the last thing we need you to do is install, install it incorrectly <laughs> and cause it not to work. No good. Uh, and your objective, as I said before, you're entitled to have the software that you invested in up and running as quickly as possible. I that's one of those values as a vendor that I believe strongly in. And so if you purchase one of our uh, day trading systems, you will get installation for free. In other words, one of our support techs will log into your computer and set everything up for you. Okay. All right, I think, let me just see what else here. Ah, um, Dan asked, can we have it on multiple PCs? Good question. So. Uh, I didn't go into this in detail, but again, if you, you heard me say it briefly, we do have a unique model in that we represent other um, programmers, Ninja Script programmers. And so I actually have two sets of customers. I have what I call my internal customers, which is these programmers that I, I help sell their, their stuff and, and support it and all that stuff on their behalf. And then I also have external customers, which are tend to be folks like you who are happy to come to a single resource and, and get all this great intellectual property. So my contracts with these individuals are a one-to-one -one license. And so if you want a second license of the software, then I'll work with you. Uh, it just depends. If you need it occasionally, we can always switch one active machine ID to another. That's acceptable according to the contract. However, if you're going to actively use two machines all the time, then you will need a second set of licenses. And we have an extremely aggressive discount for a second set of licenses. All right, we went over in time, but these are great questions. So um, I really appreciate it. And um, Wes, I'm going to hand it back to you. Again, folks, if we didn't get to something, feel free to contact me. And um, love to talk with you. All right, thank you so much, Adam. And thank you, Eric, for sharing with us today. Definitely a lot of great information covered in today's event. If you did happen to show up late for the event or uh, perhaps you missed some parts of the event for whatever reason. Uh, we did record today's event so that uh, will be available and we will send you an email with information how you can view that recording here in the next day or so. Uh, so thank you again everyone for spending time with us today. We do appreciate the time uh, that you do spend with us. Enjoy the remainder of your week and happy trading from all of us here at NinjaTrader Ecosystem.